If I knew these things before even becoming an au pair, I wouldn't have gotten fired. I'm just saying. But you know, they was haters, so they fired me anyway. Hey y'all, it's your girl, Atami. Uh, I don't know why I said my name like that. Welcome back to APOP, and I hope you've all been well. I, I hope, I hope you've all been sane honestly a crazy time for the world and an even crazier time for au pairs i'm so sorry y'all if you guys aren't familiar with me i do have my own channel and i'll make sure to leave the links down below as well as my instagram tag somewhere on the video so today's video i want to give you guys the tea the tips i'm gonna tell you guys five things you should know before even becoming an au pair random disclaimer this full video is based off of my own personal experiences and i thought i'd share my tips with you guys of what I've learned throughout the three times that I've done it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. So number one, this is the thing that I didn't do the first two times and that ended up in the middle of nowhere. Do your research on where you're staying. Make your own calculations. Don't take the family's word for where you're staying because sometimes Families exaggerate. Sometimes they have different perspectives than we do. So they may say something like, you're only 20 minutes away from the city center. And from their perspective, it's maybe 20 minutes by car from the center because they have a car, but as an au pair, you're on the bus, so it might take like 40 minutes. I know it kind of sounds like common sense, but I didn't do it. I ended up in Boulogne, in Boulogne, the first time in Paris, thinking it was gonna be Paris. It's not, I mean, it's really close, but it's not, it's not central Paris. And the second time I ended up in the countryside of Spain, thinking it's gonna be close to Barcelona. I mean, don't get me wrong. It was, it's beautiful regardless. I didn't do my research, so I didn't leave you know, know that the buses only came every like two hours, you know. You know, I'm just saying, save yourself the hassle and do your research. <laughs> Number two, ooh, 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 ooh. Listen, Linda. Talk to the previous au pair. If they have multiple, talk to all of them. I'm not being dramatic, I am not. From personal experience, because maybe the family had one favorite au pair that they liked and they got along with it really well, but then the other au pairs disliked them. So if the family only connects you with that one au pair they liked, of course it's gonna sound good. Of course it's gonna sound real good to the ears until you get there and realize you don't like them. Do I need to spill all the tea or just some of it? Can I spill just a little droplet of the tea? Just a little. Oh, every au pair is gonna have their own experience, their own insights about the family, their own anything. It's like, think about it as applying for a job and if a job asks for references, you're only gonna give them the best references. If you have one bad reference, you're not gonna refer that reference to the job that you really want, are you? Families do the same. So talk to all the previous au pairs and you might find out something about the family that you wouldn't have. Okay, number three, Skype, 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 video chat with all of the kids. I didn't do this the first time I was an au pair and I ended up with three crazy kids that I never really got along with. I kind of just rushed into everything and I didn't get on a Skype call with the parents and the kids. I only talked to the parents. So I took the parents' word for everything. And if I would have Skyped, I probably would have seen their crazy vibe and their high energy and you know, try to contact them as many times as you can. Really, this is a process that you should take your time in choosing a family that you really trust in and not rushing into the process at all. Please don't rush this process because you're going to be spending most of your time around them, around their energy, around their family life. So you really want to be sure that you can connect with them if you guys are enjoying these tips so far make sure you hit that thumbs up button to let us know that you like these videos number four is what makes all the difference in your au pair experience is to talk to other au pairs get advice from other au pairs reach out you're not alone in this there's been hundreds of other people who are doing it with you at the same time and also who have done it before you 
So do not be afraid to reach out, to make friends. It makes all the difference in your au pair experience. I will tell you now. And that's why for me, APOP's open forum has been like a complete game changer because I met so many girls, so many people I could talk to about my specific au pair problems that no one else would understand. And it's always great to make friends when you're in a different country. It's like the easiest, simplest way I've ever made friends in my life. Number five probably would have saved me a lot of trouble, a lot of wasted time, a lot of wasted energy is something that I wouldn't have even thought of my younger self three years ago when I first started this journey. Number five is to save as much money as you can. The first time I decided to become an au pair, I used all of my money to buy the tickets and everything, so I essentially went to Paris broke. Oh no, she didn't! Negative dollars in my bank account. And although, yes, it is possible to live life like that, if I were to be fired, like right away, I would have been stranded in Paris with zero dollars to my name. So, please save as much money as you can. Work a summer job, work for a full year before you plan on coming, save your money, if you're in the position to do it, please do it. Be patient and have money backed up for yourself. Because since being an au pair is such a competitive industry, there are a lot more au pairs than there are families, you really need to protect yourself and have a safety net if something goes wrong because it doesn't work out all peas and carrots for everyone. Also, a little connection to that one is have a backup plan. What can it hurt? A lot of girls. Do get fired let's be honest i got fired unexpectedly i'm not bitter i'm not bitter i'm not bitter about it i'm not are you sure about that and since i had money since i had a backup plan since i already had a second job before i left it made everything a lot less stressful i had options because i decided to have a little security and backup plan for myself make sure you comment down below if you have another tip you know i could have missed something there could be something really important that you're like oh my gosh girl don't forget this tip we want to make everyone's au pair experience as awesome as possible so if you want to share your tips as well make sure you leave a comment down below really a pop is here for au pairs through and through so make sure you're staying connected on all our channels on our instagram on our facebook groups on au pair pairs.com all right y'all so that's all i have for this video i hope these five tips will help you in your au pair journey or if you're already an au pair i hope that anything can be insightful you guys are so amazing thank you guys for always supporting and until next time bye Bye, Pop. Stop in the name of love. My baby don't mess around because she loves me. Oh, and that's Okay, let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs>